So we've talked about vertical shrinking and stretch, and now we want to talk about horizontal. Um, what I've done is it's kind of hard to see, but I've, gra I've created a graph here. It's again, not the most perfect lines, but it's there. And so what I want to do is I want to do a horizontal stretch or a horizontal shrink. Now in the first one, I noticed that my number inside is a 2, and a 2 is greater than 1, so that means that I'm going to have to shrink my graph. And if I do that, if originally I came out here to 2, then I'm going to shrink it to 1. And then I'm going to leave the vertical up here the same. And then I'm going to shrink again here. I've got 2, so now that's going to become 1. And then this next point, I'm over 1, 2, 3, 4. So half of that is 2, and I'm going to go down to 3. And then I was at 6 right here, so half of that is 1, 2, 3. So my new graph, if I can get the right size here, you notice that it has shrunk. It is smaller. Now, if I look at the other one, let me find another color, and I notice this time I've got a half. And so what I'm actually going to do this time is I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So originally I was at 2 here on the horizontal, and now I'm going to go out to 4. I might need to make it just a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now, originally here was at 0, 3. That stays the same because I'm not doing anything with the vertical. I'm doing the horizontal. Um, here I was at 2, and I want to double that, so that comes out to 4. And then I want to look at the next one, which was down here, was at what, 4 and negative 3. So now it's going to be at 8 and negative 3, because I'm going to double the 4. And then my last one was at 6, and now it's going to be at 12, because I'm going to double that. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then if I can see all those little orange dots, and that you notice when I did it with this one, it became larger. And since it's larger, it was stretched out on the horizontal, which is along that x-axis.